Hey, what's up everyone? It's Steph from Steph Lee Films. In today's video, I will teach you how to export PNG images from Photoshop directly to your A10 Mini. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, first of all, why would you want to export PNG images to your A10 Mini? The reason is so that you can use the downstream key to display lower thirds or logos on your live streams or even set it as still images as a placeholder during your live stream breaks or at the start of your event or at the end of your event. Okay, with our purpose pretty much explained, let's start. First, you need to connect your A10 mini to your computer. So either using the USB connection, which is the USB-C to USB cable or using the ethernet cable connection. So once you are connected, open up your Photoshop. In our example today, I'll just create a very simple lower third image. First, create a new document by clicking on File, New. Since my streams are usually 1920 by 1080p, I will proceed to create a document of this size. Make sure to set your background contents as transparent. Once you are done, click OK. Next, click on the rectangular marquee tool and create a rectangle somewhere in the bottom left corner. Fill it up with the paint bucket tool. Then create some text using the text tool here. Okay, so now we have created a very simple graphic image using Photoshop. So what we're going to do, we're going to send it directly to our A10 Mini. How do you do that? Click on File, Export. ATEM Switcher Media Pool. You will see your connected ATEM Mini appearing right here. So now you can rename the image and you can see the Media Pool right now is pretty empty because we have not uploaded anything in it. So we will just select Slot 1. And after Export, I will set it to Media Player 1. Click on Export. You will see the image automatically get exported into slot 1 of your media pool which now you can use for your live streaming. So there you have it. Simple right? Exporting PNG images to your A10 mini directly from Photoshop. I hope that this video is simple and easy to understand for you. As like I try to do in all my videos. Before I end this video, I'd like to say it really means a lot to me if you found any of the information today I shared useful and if you can give this video a like. So it encourages me to continue making such videos for you. If you have any comments or if there are any videos that you would want me to feature in my future content, feel free to leave them in the comments below so I can work on my future video content to bring you something that you like. If you want to learn more about photography and videography on my channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And of course, do check out two of my other videos here. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.